Let's go back to the stimulus. Will the plan hold up in tomorrow's vote in the Senate? And will Secretary Geithner's plan get a thumbs up or thumbs down from Congress? Joining us now from Capitol Hill, we're pleased to have Republican Senator Jim Bunning from Kentucky. Senator, I'm, I'm tempted to ask you about A-Rod. It doesn't have much to do with the stimulus. It, but all, with your, it almost is more important. Yeah, I, well, with your prestigious <laughs> history in baseball, perhaps we'll throw one in the, at the end there, if you don't mind the pun. Uh, but let me, let me ask, I asked a congressman who I just had had, uh, Mr. Dun Gundren about uh, my bellwether for whether there is pork. The president says, by the way, there is no pork in what remains of this bill. But I still note that in the bill is that $650 million for the digital to analog education program. And the bottom line of this pork, and I call it pork, is that we don't know where the money is going. Who's going to be getting now, even if you assume that it's worthwhile to spend 650 million taxpayer dollars for another education program on digital conversion, who gets the cash? Yeah, well, there's no there's no designation. Obviously, <clears throat> excuse me. Obviously, there's a lot of pork in the bill, um, and you know to call it a bipartisan bill when three out of 218 uh, Republicans are going to vote for it. Three out of 218, counting the House and Senate. Uh, we could call it a uh, tripartisan if you count the two independents uh, in the uh, <laughs> Senate. But the fact of the matter is, uh, the Republican conference in the Senate, except for three, are not, do not believe that this is going to be a stimulus. They believe it is government spending exactly what we tried during the Great Depression to get us out. And the only thing that got us out of that depression was our joining in the Second World War. I, I pray to God that that is not the solution to uh, us getting out of this recession, giant recession that we are now in. But Senator Bunny, you now have President Obama, whose popularity remains very high, going out in the stump, uh, trying to, to make to close the deal, if you will. He's say, saying that there is no pork, that that uh, this spending is necessary to get the economy moving again. Do you think that a minority of, of senators will be able to stop a bill being pushed by a majority in Congress and a popular president? No, I don't think it probably would be stopped, but I think the scrutiny and the American people's knowledge of what is in the bill is a lot better now than it was when we started out. Obviously, this bill will pass a cloture tonight, and then it will go to conference. Coming out of conference is really the problem, because I believe they will put a lot of the things that they removed to get it passed and get Susan Collins and and uh, Arlen Specter and Olympia Snow to vote for it uh, will be put, put back into the bill out of, in the conference. And then it comes back for a revote on the floor of the Senate. Now, right. whether that th those three people uh, vote for it a second time around, we'll see. Congressman, I, I'm truly not obsessed with this digital to, to analog or analog to digital uh, stuff, but, but just keeping on that for a second, Clearwire is, is one of the companies that has a particular interest in this whole operation. And we know that one of their executives was, was working in the, in the transition team with, congressmen, uh, with, uh, with the president and with other congressmen and senators. Is, is there so much lobbying involved in this bill that it's, it's hard to see how it could benefit the taxpayer at this point? Well, I can tell you this. This bill has been lobbied as hard as any bill in my 22 years, or going into 23 now, uh, on, the, on the floor of the Senate or the House. So uh, I have never seen lobbying like uh, I have seen on this bill. There is something in it for everyone, the governors, the mayors, all the agencies of the federal government, and on down the line, it is uh, an awful lot of pork to be passing out. And the total cost, I want everybody to understand, the total cost, including the $350 billion in interest over the 10 years, is $1.175 trillion. T, starts with a T, trillion dollars. Now, 
If you don't think there's pork in that bill, then you're not looking with two good eyes. <laughs> uh, Senator, final question, if I may. I know you weren't planning to, to receive one on this sub subject, but A-Rod, uh, steroids in baseball. A-Rod apparently has admitted that he was on some kind of uh, performance-enhancing drug. Uh, does, do any penalties uh, deserve to be taken by him for that? Well, uh, if you go back and look at 1992 when the federal Congress passed a law prohibiting the use of and the distribution of with fines up to $1 million, uh, no, because the statute of limitation probably has run out. But the fact of the matter is, we've had a law in place since 1992. Now, baseball and the union didn't agree to any kind of penalties. But there are civil penalties uh, that exist in the United States right. of America for the use of those steroids. I am so saddened, and I am getting to believe more and more what Jose Canseco has written in his book, that half of the people in the major leagues used performance-enhancing drugs. Senator Jim Bunning, Hall of Famer, I should mention. Senator Jim Bunning, good to see you. Thank you very much for being here, sir.